guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 5 of season 2 of Love Live Nichi Saki School Idol Club. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Well, you know, there still is one unit that hasn't come out yet. A bell? Mm, no, it's something, Mia. Oh, because you're going to scope the competition now? Mm hmm See, what I'm kind of hoping with this unit, because, of course, this is the last unit for the group, um, the outfits that we see today are very similar to the one outfit. I think it's like, oh, God, I don't remember the name of the song, but it was a picture of the three of them, and I, I think it was something, something Wonderland, and they looked so freaking cute, and I was just like, oh, we better see that in season two. <laughs> Even though we probably won't, we might just really see just typically the cards from the game just looking animated and gorgeous as hell. So, it's okay. Yeah, Dreamland. There we go. <laughs> Aww. Hmm. I am, once again, being the wife. Like, yes. My wife, please promise me. <laughs> Now we're going to tail the wife of God. <laughs> yeah, but you are, because that's your baby. 
<laughs> I don't know why, but this is giving me like hella vibes to the freaking Sunshine movie with uh you and her cousin. <laughs> Tonight as well. Ain't that funny? Well, baby, that's the least of your worries right now. She looks so pretty. Uh, anime Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> You okay? Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, that is definitely a pretty good reference. Oh, 
Oh, damn. <laughs> oh. No, it's only natural. <laughs> You did good. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the only person she wants to go on a date with is Ayamu. Now, if they show my babies, I'm gonna die. Damn it. Y'all couldn't, y'all couldn't literally show me anything. You couldn't show me nudes. You couldn't show me aquas like a picture. But not enough, right? You're not truly into it.
Shizuka. She's right. Yeah, you wing it, baby. You just could show me a picture of your senpais, huh? <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. One day.
Ferrisville. Oh, babe, are you going to confess to her again? <laughs> Aww! <laughs> Excuse me. Of course, we gotta wait a week until until we see these things perform. A freaking course, we are. You know what? And I should have known that, even though technically, yes, their play performance was good. But I would have wanted to see them sing today. But you know, it's okay. I can wait. Yep, yep. This, I mean, this episode went a little fast, but a little slow at the same time. And I, I, I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing. I'm saying it's more like a good thing because we do need kind of slow pace as episodes because to me the last couple episodes felt very quick and have gotten you know their beginning middle and end done quickly while this episode felt like I said slow pace to a point where it is a quote-unquote two-parter episode that we're not going to see the conclusion until next week but literally like still once again Ayama was very worried about you and so I feel like going into next week this is just going to be you ex Ayamu part two part three for them and to see how what well, really uh, like I said at the beginning of the series what the heck you is gonna do with the laundry situation especially because the fact is she's barely passing for, you know, the stuff that she's in for music and everything. And so Laundry's like, you know, why don't you just drop the facade, drop being spending time with this club and everything, and focus on your dreams. You can't have everything. I mean, because that's exactly what, you know, Lanju is being for, like, you and her, you know, redeem redemption arc for this story. She's being the, the biggest, like, toughest critic on her. And not only, like, when, you know how, like, with season one, like, he was really hard on herself and such. We're getting that times two. So not only is you hard on herself, where even though we don't get to see it all the time up in this season, you have someone else who knows, like, Oh, hey, your potential's a little better than this, so why don't you just drop this quote-unquote act and focusing on trying to multitask and being in a group, even though you don't want to be a school idol yourself, but you still support them and you're helping them versus doing something for yourself in this musical career to not only help you, but to also help them. You can't always have it all, and so that's really what... It seems like Landry was there as a character, especially when she comes in so very hard on you. And, and oh shit, like, I, I mean, mm, it, there's gonna be a point where, like, you is, is gonna make Landry eat her words, like, straight up. And it may not happen now. It, it's gonna happen at least before the end of this season to the point where both Mia and Landry are eventually going to join, um the Nishikasaki girls in a group together and then it's going to be a unit of like what 10 what well wait hold on I'm forgetting that other girl it's going to be a unit of like 10 or 11 on, 12 girls yeah at least 12 to 13 girls and such I mean because okay speaking of groups and adding more girls to the groups so I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and stop talking about Nishikasaki but still it was a good episode I really enjoyed it for what it was let's go ahead and talk about the other elephant in the room with the fact is that 
looking at uh, Muse, Aquas, Nijikasaki Girls, and uh, I can never pronounce, uh, I think it's, uh, I'll just say it, my best girl Kanan's group, um, her unit of five girls. The one thing that I love about the Love, Love Life Superstar series is that, you know, hey, they decided to be different, and instead of doing the initial nine girls, they decided to just do five. And I was like, okay, we're doing something different. I think this is going to make us really fall more in love with these girls and get a lot more development with these girls and such. So I think it was just this past week, earlier in the week, this had to be like Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, um, they announced that they're adding four more girls into this group. And so everybody right now kind of feels a little like, yes, I love this, no, I, I don't love this, or you're in the between of, I don't know how to feel about this. Me, I'm like, I, I would have been fine, and I still am fine with five girls and five girls only. There were a lot of people in, like, Twitter comments and such saying that this group didn't need four extra girls, that it was perfect with just five, and that you blatantly, like, gave development and really good development on each and every one of these five girls as a whole. So bringing in not, I mean, four extra girls and trying to give carriage development for nine girls is uh, still a little complicated and sometimes can be a little challenging. This is the exact same things that I talk about with freaking Pretty Cure. When it comes to Pretty Cure, like, okay, for, for an example, Delicious Party Pretty Cure that's coming out later on tonight. That's three girls, but we know by October there's going to be another girl indicating there's four girls in the group. When it's a small group of three to four, it's good. But when we're adding into five, going on to six, it that's where it gets a little tricky. Sometimes even with a group of four and five, it, it's somewhat even tricky as well because you're trying to give whoever that main character focusing. So let's use this episode as an example. Let's say Setsuno was the main focus of it. But then at the same time, we're also getting focus on Shizuku, Ayamu, and you. But Setsuna is the main focus. It is a little harder to try to give one girl that main focus without still trying to give the other girls just the same thing. And then by the time you finish the show, hence Pretty Cure, um, maybe the second season of Superstar when that does come in the summertime and such, it is a little harder to try to get that because then you're like, okay, did they really do the best for this character after season one or did they do the worst for it and i can't really say anything about like the superstar girls until we get to superstar season two but i'm really i'm i'm i'm, I'm excited for it but at the same time just like everybody else we're all like they were perfect with just five girls you didn't need to add four extra girls into this group but yeah there might be some people who are probably against the fact or love the fact that there are more girls yes there is one girl in the four in the new four girls that i do like it's the girl who has blonde hair and then her tips are pink she she's so freaking adorable and cute as hell and i'm like oh i might end up you might be like second best girl for me because like come on i freaking love her so freaking much um and such but we're not gonna know so like the biggest thing is i think because they also started um, releasing them now or giving info on these four other girls now is that when we get into Superstar after this ends they're going to be featured in the anime and it makes you wonder how they're going to do that and, and such because I was expecting like if they were going to do new girls um, if Superstar had gotten a potential third season or movie as that's when they would have been like yeah let's add more four girls and just like that but nah they, they doing that a little differently but yeah this episode was really good for what the story is this is just part one of a two-parter like conclusion arc next week so hopefully we're able to wrap this up really good by next week for the for these girls and hopefully their song next week as a new IO group or unit is really good because I'm ready to see these outfits how I'm ready to see them today but you know y'all said no y'all really said no but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of season 2 of Love Live Nijikasaki School Idol Club if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 6 bye guys